In this short video, I will show you a small difference between using the subsurface modifier versus the subsurface geometry node. The thing we want to see here is a smooth subsurface transition between a low and a high poly state in the model. However, in using the normal method, which is the subdivision surface modifier on this mesh that we have, and with adding two keyframes in the viewport level count, we can see that the transition is not that smooth, and it's actually jumping from one level to another. That because this value only takes whole numbers without fractions, so 1.5 will become 2, and 1.2 will go back to being just 1. 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 1, that's 3, quick maths. Another way in adding subdivision to a mesh is with geometry nodes. So let's hit the new button, then search for the word subdivision. Three options will appear, and the one we need is the subsurface node, so add it on the line. The thing controlling the subdivision here is the level count, and we can put it at 3 and keyframe it on the start and end of this animation using the I key, but the result will be similar to what the subsurface modifier did. However, if we keep the level count on 3, then control the edge crease value from 0 to 1, it will give us the result that we need. So, at the end of the animation, and for a smooth shape, leave the edge crease at zero value, then at the start of the animation, make it on one. This value takes fractions, thus result in a smooth transition between low and high poly state in the mesh. And that's it. Subscribe cause it all about the subs and see you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.